Hi, it's Cindy, and I have a little bit of a haul video. Um, I've gotten a few things from eBay for my B-books, um, and I just want to show you those. First of all, I got these two necklaces. Um, I don't know how well they'll show up on camera, but they're this little bit of a honeycomb dealy. I never know if I'm in, in frame or not, but anyway, so there's that, and they have a little bee on them, a little gold bee. This one has a silver honeycomb with the gold bee, and I thought they were really cute. Um, and they'll probably go on the front of one or the other, the hardcover books I'm making. I've got four softcover books made, and I want to make at least one hardcover. And then I got 18 of these little bees. Oops. Let me put a palm on my hand. It'll stay there better. They're real tiny compared to the other bees that I've gotten. And I like them. They're about the same size as the gold ones on those necklaces. But, um, so I paid, um, this little bag of 18 was, I think, about 97 cents with free shipping um, on eBay, and then the necklaces were about the same. They might have been $1.25 each, but I really liked them, and I thought they would be neat on the cover, so I got those. Um, and the little ones will probably be on things like bulb pins throughout somewhere. So I got those. Then I got some stamps from some sellers on Facebook, uh, Facebook group that I go, that I belong to, um, Scrapbook Bargain Basement something like that. I'll link it below like I've done before. First I got this one from My Creative Time. Um, it's called Family is Everything and it's basically that. It says family time, family and love and there are matching dies to go with those and then it says do all things with of my life to love you always comes first. It's everything is the greatest blessing we are of A and makes life beautiful. And then it's got like these splotches and splats and things like that. And I have a couple of other eyes that have those kinds of things, not to mention some Tim Holtz st uh, stencils, but you know, they're always fun to have. So I got that. I think I paid five dollars for that. So I it was eight. It was eight dollars. And then another two for shipping, I think. So it was right around ten dollars. And I thought for a stamp and die set, um, that I think I'll get a lot of use out of that that was worth it. Both of these two sets were five dollars and they were from the same seller on the same group. Um, and this is a set by Fiskers and it's from 2016. There was no date on this one from my creative time but this one is a, a baby one and I'm always making baby albums. There's always babies being born in a big family and it's got all kinds of fun little baby things that I think would be fun to just stamp or to stamp and emboss. Um, I have some, some of these images in other stamp sets, but to have it all in one place to just whip through an album really quickly and put little images throughout, I think that sounds like a lot of fun. And I may even make a baby-themed junk journal this next time. Um, depends on who who's having the baby. Um, but, yeah, so these will be really fun for that. And then I've always wanted one of those stamp sets that had... <laughs> I'm not one for buying these little cutesy stamp sets with critters and stuff, but I like them. I just can never see me doing them. They're not really my style, I guess. I don't know. But this one was cute. I like the little message boards that they each have and the little, you know, different blessings you can put in there. Um, or messages, rather. And then there's, like, pizza there. And I don't know what that's supposed to be. I took my glasses off so I can't see it. But I know that's a crayon. And it says stuff like, forget it, it ain't happening until I put my glasses on. Um, I love you, I do too, happy birthday, I'm, I miss you, what he said, what she said, sorry, congrats, ditto, oh, and that's a rose and a pizza, so, yeah, and then it comes with the dies for the, uh, the all the element stamps, the two little, the bear and the bunny and the crayon rose and pizza. I think they'll be fun to make some cards with for all kinds of occasions. So, yeah. And I can even see myself just writing my own messages in there as well. So, yeah. That's my little haul. 
And then I was, while I was doing this, I thought maybe I'd show you a sneak peek of my B books, where they are now. I have two of these done. Um, they're not exactly the same, but I'm just going to show you this one for now. Um, little image of a queen bee that came from the paper collection, and it says queen bee. And then I used a little collage of um, tulle in black and yellow. You saw me haul that. And a, and a yellow bow and a fabric that I love so much. And I'm not going to do a flip through. I'll wait and do them all at once. That's the passport size. And then this is a regular TN size. Um, again, a tool bow. This is a little collage of a piece of um, the scrapbook paper that I just cut um, into a sort of a random shape. It's just one of the honeycomb pages or pieces. I don't even know if I was in frame there, but there you go. Um, and this, this beautiful queen bee um, piece that I got off of eBay. And um, and then a piece of uh, cheesecloth behind that. And um, so, yeah, there it is. And you can see they're both quite chunky um, for what they are. So I included lots of fun stuff in there. And I think they're going to be... I think they're going to be fun to, to use and to own. And as soon as I finish one of the full-size ones, I'm going to list them on Etsy. I have to have a, a day um, dyeing paper, uh, coffee dyeing paper, I should say, before I can do my full-size book. Um, I don't have any more coffee dyed paper. I used it all up. So that's got to happen maybe tomorrow. I keep saying that every day. I keep saying maybe tomorrow. I have to do it, so it really will be maybe tomorrow. Um, and so that's that. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and come back. Tell your friends.